Okay, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and replace a camshaft synchronizer on a 2002 Ford Taurus. It's located here right underneath this elbow and this wire harness cluster. We're going to have to remove the air cleaner and all of this assembly here to get access and also the spark plug wire retainer there. Okay, we got the air cleaner off just by detaching the two latches here. Pop this hose here off and then this hose that goes into the side of it. Disconnect the connector for the mass airflow sensor and then one worm gear clamp here. Work it off. Okay, now we have to take what I believe is the throttle body off of here. I'm not a mechanic, I just know how to do this. There's four bolts at four corners. You have a connector here. You have to take this plate off. May not have to take this plate off. You have another connector here. And then this whole deal should just rock away. Okay, you see we got the throttle body taken loose. Turns out you did not have to remove the metal plate with the cables attached. You just break it loose and then you can move the whole thing and just lay it to the side like so. Okay, now we're down to removing this hose here. Just pop the clamp, work it off, and bend it back. We're almost there. Okay, I got the hose off and I took loose the spark plug retainer clip here. And I took a white out pin like this and I just marked on the tops of the plug wires one two three and they go back on here in order one two three okay now we're down to the worst part which is getting this wire harness out of the way because <clears throat> excuse me it lays right on top of what we're trying to get to Okay, now, this is the camshaft synchronizer, but on top, what we're looking at is the camshaft position sensor. This basically replaces the distributor on vehicles. Wire and harness that was in the way, I had to tie a string around it and then cinch it back to get it up and out of the way. So you just undo the two bolts on top of the sensor, which I've already done, it comes off. Now we're looking at the top of the camshaft synchronizer. And if you see this little notch on the inside, that spins around and hits a magnetic contact inside the sensor, which indicates the position of the camshaft. There's one bolt that holds this in. You can see right there. Trick is you have to get this in the exact way it came out, the new one has to go in the exact position or you can screw up the timing. Okay, this is what the new sensor looks like. And as you see the part spins, you just twist the bottom shaft here to line it up where you think it needs to be. Okay, we pulled the old one out and as you can see, when you pull up on it, the part in the middle will rotate counterclockwise a bit so when you go to put the new one in line it up in that position and it should roll right back into where it needs to go and you can see there's the hole there down in the bottom there's a little rod that drives the oil pump which lines up into the bottom of there
Okay, what we did to make sure it goes back into perfect position, if you can see on top, there are some grooves, which I guess I'm in the light. Right there, I put a toothpick in it, hold it flat, and then mark on the engine block with the whiteout pen. There's three grooves, do it all three spots. This is the new piece already back in. You can hear how bad this one squeaks. And it's all done, and there is no more loud chirping noise, and no check engine light.